Well, I spoke recently on my channel as a very proud Englishman highlighting how this year you've got elections to the Welsh Parliament and the Scottish Parliament and debates going on in Wales and Scotland about all sorts of issues. But yet in England, there's no English Parliament and there was a massive response from you guys uh, overwhelmingly in favour of an English Parliament. And I was highlighted at the time the polling there that showed more, much more public support for an English Parliament as it stands than against it. But this story today from the Telegraph really is outrageous. Uh, they showing that the SNP MPs could potentially be voting for Covid's passports for England. I'm going to bring you all the very latest in this video guys but please start off as ever by hitting subscribe and the bell and give this video a big thumbs up too. I'd really appreciate it. So the SNP's uh, Westminster leader Ian Blackford has opened the door, the Telegraph report, for voting for COVID status checks in England, likely all but guaranteeing common support for the moves, even though, of course, we've seen a Conservative uh, rebellion on this. We've also seen Labour at the moment seem to be indicating they may vote against it, though, frankly, with Keir Starmer's Labour Party, it ain't a serious opposition party at the moment. It's a far-left pressure group, as far as I'm concerned, and they could blow whatever way the wind's going, I imagine. But Ian Blackford of the SNP, uh, speaking to The Telegraph, saying he's considering backing the checks described as COVID passports, meaning that if the SNP joined the Conservative government, then at least around 80 Conservative MPs would have to rebel and vote against this. And currently there's only around 41 Tory rebels. Now, the thing is, with the English votes for English laws procedure and the House of Commons bill procedure, on the 22nd of uh, October 2015, the House of Commons approved standing order changes that gave effect to the government's plan to introduce English votes for English laws. However, the standing orders relating to English votes for English laws, as, as explained on the Parliament website, are suspended temporarily fo following a decision by the House on the 22nd of April 2020. However, the Telegraph also report that even under those rules, SNP MPs can vote in the final binding vote on new laws. Now, what's happened since subsequently since this story about SNP MPs potentially voting on measures for England is that Ian Blackford has seemingly sought to dampen speculation that the SNP may in fact vote for COVID status certificates in England, saying in a statement after that story that on the basis of the information available, there is, there is not a proposition in front of us that SNP MPs could support. But the fact is that you could see SNP MPs voting for these measures for England. Is it time, do you think, for an English Parliament? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you make of this story. And as ever, if you enjoyed this report, please do give it a big thumbs up and please do hit the join button to become a member here on the channel. would really appreciate it. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my new show, The Snap, I'll put a link down below in the description and in the comments. Please go and subscribe to my new YouTube show, The Snap. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.